Hey, fourth graders, today I'd like to talk to you about another strategy to divide, like you haven't learned enough yet. Um, this one is using the distributive property. The distributive property of division basically states that you can take a dividend and divide it into two add ends and divide each add end by the other, um, by the divisor, and you will get the same answer like you just taking the dividend and dividing it by the divisor. So basically, what we've been doing in multiplication, we're breaking apart into two different chunks. We're doing the same thing because it works for division two. As long as you make two add-ins and 60 plus 9 equals 69, you're good. It's just that these two add-ins have to equal the dividend. It's kind of like what we've been doing with the area model, only we're breaking it up into division problems. Okay, so the first step we would do is to take the dividend break it into two chunks and so you've got two add-ins now and then they're in parentheses so 60 plus 9 in parentheses divided by 3. The next step you take that 60 plus 9 divided by 3 and you break it into two different division problems. You have 60 divided by 3 plus 9 divided by 3. Notice this one's in parentheses and this one's in parentheses. Then I use this strategy in order to solve it. I use my facts. So I, I did fact family. 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 times 20 is 60. So I know that this one is 20 because 3 and 60 are right here. This is the next factor. And then for this one, I know 3 times what is 9? 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 is my extra factor. So three down here. Now I add them together because remember it's addition in the middle. 20 plus 3 is 23. The reason why this works, if you look at it on the area model, I have gridded out 3 by 69, then I blocked off my 9 and 60, and there are 20 in this row and 3 in this row, which makes a total of 23. So 60 divided by 3 plus 9 divided by 3 is 23. Now it's your turn to try. I'd like you to try, pick the strategy that works for you. Maybe try the one that I just taught you just now. Try with the distributive property without using an area model and see if you can solve it. Especially if you can use your basic facts in order to try and get close to it. Or use um, the, the graph paper and use the graph paper in order to grid it. Try 68 divided by 4 and see what you get. I look forward to seeing which strategy you choose and how you were able to solve it and that you got it right. Happy learning!